Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here from the Back to Beta server, and we're standing in front of a man-made little lake that uh, myself and Docspot put together. I wanted uh, a touch of blue in here to make that make sense, because I want to turn that into an, an oasis in a bit, but uh, yeah, we sort of spent a little bit of time uh, exchanging the, the sand for gravel and dirt, and then putting the water in. The outskirts of it aren't so detailed just yet, just kind of a little rough rough idea, but uh, I don't know, I quite like it, I think it adds a bit of colour to the area as well. Um, but yeah, I've done a bit of progress between episodes, uh, mainly because I haven't had the time to actually formulate a full kind of um, normal style episode that I'd kind of do, so I thought I'd just take you along and show you guys what uh, what, what progress I've made uh, since the last episode. So, um, in the last episode, we built these uh, these two houses here, these are like the up upmarket um, I don't know, high-end sort of value houses, so there's Galileo's house and the Glazier's house. Um, and yeah, since then I've made a bit of progress and uh, added a bit of sort of, I don't know, clarity around what this village is kind of about. Um, so there's three new houses added here, these are like slum houses, and uh, you can sort of come inside, and I quite like this one, this one's quite interesting and unique, I feel like. It's got a little bit of, a bit of a slant to it. It's kind of built on a slant. If you uh, if you walk around it, you'll see it's kind of slip slipping down a little bit. Um, yeah, kind of a cool house. I like this one. Um, I sort of used the same approach I did um, when building this house. Um, I started with an outline and kind of a general shape, and then I went in with the details and uh, and things like that, and it ended up looking quite quite good. So uh, this is the next one. Um, you can sort of come in here. They're all uh, all you know got details inside. So yeah, it's quite nice. And uh, yeah, there's sort of a uh, you know a lot of detail going around the sides and the back. There's even a pathway to sort of get onto the roof, which is kind of getting uh, overgrown with some plants and things. Yeah. And uh, and then yeah, this is the third one down here. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, I think, because it kind of combines this one and and this one. Um, it's like kind of big, but also slipping down the hill a little bit, which I quite liked. So uh, yeah, and it's got a nice little view of the uh, of the sort of market area, which um, was the next area I worked on, uh, which I quite like as well, because we want to build this up to make it be sort of hustling and bustling and kind of you know packed with things. So the first build I did was uh, was this fish build. I don't know why it has a question mark. I haven't really defined these signs right now. As you can see, they're a bit um, blank. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time actually, you know, defining what would be on the signs and things like that um, in a, in a bit. But yeah, this one I know is a fish store. We've got the uh, the cyan wool to kind of represent that. In this chest, there'll be fish and fishing rods eventually. Um, and you know, you can kind of imagine there's a guy uh, sort of standing here selling it. Um, and yeah, he's got a kind of a, a tight workbench because people, you know, people here are gonna wanna gonna wanna buy fish. So his stall's quite, quite a, uh, quite an upmarket stall <laughs> as far as the stalls go. Um, and we've even got these barrels around here, which are pretty cool. Um, these are like glitched uh, trapdoors um, around water, which are which are very cool, um, very cool technique. Um, and then this was the next one I built. So this uh, this stall is a bit of a joke. I, I kind of built it, and I was like, hmm, "This is a bit strange." And uh, I was on call with Doc and uh, and Ryan, and they said make it for golden apples. So it's a bit of a bit of a meme, bit of a meme stall. I think I feel like I'm gonna put up a sign that says "sold out" and uh, and maybe have it like a little bit run down at some point or something, like it's never been used. Um, yeah, so I quite like that one. And this is the third one I built. So this one is for wood, so um, I guess I'll explain the law. Well, not the law, but like, I don't know. The idea of this place is that um, this village, its main exports are uh, sand, glass, and cactus. Um, so in the future, any ships that are being uh, loaded with, uh, with materials, they're going to be loaded with glass, sand, and uh, cactus. But everything else for this village kind of gets imported, um, so that's why there's this big booming industry of, uh, of, uh, I guess, stalls and things. And uh, wood is definitely a, a big import because obviously you need it kind of to build your houses and and things like that and tools and whatever. So yeah, wood is a big uh, import, so it's got quite a quite a big stall here, um, which I quite like. There's, uh, there's quite a few details in here, some sort of shelving, um, and then yeah, the the uh, 
chests and things. And uh, one of my favorite things about this is obviously like there's sort of showcases of the product. Um, so there's uh, this is like a classic design with the uh, with the rails over top sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we've got you know exotic exotic woods that wouldn't be found in the area like birch and spruce. And then there's some uh, some even. Uh, oak wood here and it's kind of like this one has fallen apart like it hasn't been stored properly it's kind of been on a hill and it's sort of fallen down a little bit which I, I kind of like that little extra detail so yeah that wood that wood industry is kind of booming um, that's that's probably one of my favorite of the stalls I like that one now the next stall I built was this steel one because obviously you know everything's imported so you know things like iron would be imported so it's like sort of the steel um, so that you know things like pistons and and even more tools can be made um, again there's nothing in here but um, I think it's quite a nice little uh, nice little build I, all of these I wanted to make them you know slightly different and unique um, I can't have them all being the same uh, we also have this little uh, storage container and this is very similar to the one that uh, Galileo has in his in his house and on his cart um, has the same kind of piston trick um, so yeah this kind of ties into that um, makes the world feel you know more consistent uh, over here we've got wheat seeds and bread so this is like the wheat stall it doesn't really make much sense for the wheat to you know be growing on the top of the roof but I don't know it makes sense in Minecraft so it's kind of a nice little thing and then you know you can kind of look look at the display product and then you know the vendor would be sort of sitting here like with his little wheat and sort of pass it out I think it would be kind of cool. Anyway, so along with the wheat seeds, uh, we also have bone meal, which is the last stall, and obviously bone meal's, you know, white, <laughs> so it's got the birch, birch wood as it's, uh, as it's framing. Uh, and yeah, all around the village, there's like, you know, little plants and things to kind of add that pop of green, which I quite like. Uh, the last little thing I made, I have no idea what it is, um, but this is like kind of the general shape. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Pepper came around and he sort of said it could be like a like a stage or like, you know, something, you know, people could kind of line the streets here and someone could stand here and maybe talk or give the news. It's like, it could be like a news station, you know, here's, here's where you get your news sort of thing. Uh, because it's going to be right next to a public well, so this would be a very popular spot to kind of come along and stand and wait in line. So maybe someone could be here advertising even. Um, maybe a good idea advertising. Uh, yeah. Could be uh, could be left up to the imagination as well. It's kind of the beauty of Minecraft. But yeah, that's basically what I've been working on this week. Um, yeah, like I said, I haven't been able to uh, to come up with a fully fleshed out video, but I thought I'd make this as well just to show you guys like the progress and um, and what's been going on this week. Because um, yeah, it's I, I really like these builds. They're really detailed and, and really interesting, and uh, kind of really start fleshing out a bit of the world and the character of the uh, of the village which I quite like, um, and I'm going to probably continue that more. Now, something I wish was in beta so much was uh, was written books, because I was, I was sort of standing around, and I was like, oh, I'd love to write down sort of the uh, the ideas of the um, of the village and what, what it represents, and, like the lore and stuff. So I came, I came over into this house, and, and, I, and I got some signs, and I just wrote the village lore, <laughs> uh, and I just sort of wrote about like the uh, the exports and things, so I wouldn't forget, you know, not that I, not that I, not that I would forget, but just, just in case. So the last thing I want to talk about is these slum houses, you may have noticed their signs um, have nothing on them. And yeah, basically with this village, I want to have every house have, have a sign with, uh, with a name on it and, you know, associate it with a bit of a personality, make it feel lived in again. Um, and I have an idea of how I want to choose, like what kind of names go on these signs. Uh, I'd like you guys have a, to have an opportunity to get, you know, your names on, on signs on the back to beta server and, uh, and even possibly your pixel art. And uh, this is where we turn over to the stadium here. Now, the stadium has these big open spaces here, um, which are 39 by 17. So 39 across, 17 up. And I was thinking it would be really cool to have um, pixel art or, um, yeah, I guess, I guess pixel art in these spaces uh, to fill these spaces here and uh, yeah I sort of thought I'd, I'd throw it to you guys and give you guys an opportunity to um, make some pixel art that I can put in here um, and yeah and then if you if you do that I'll uh, I'll put your name on a slum house there's gonna be there's gonna be many more houses that aren't just slums as well uh, there's gonna be plenty of houses in the uh, in the village there's gonna be houses over there and 
and over there, like this. Yeah, there's a lot of spaces for houses, and I'm even gonna make like you know inns and 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 pubs and things that have uh, that will have to have names as well. So yeah, if you make a pixel art and uh, to fill this space, which again is 39 by 17, um, you can get your name on uh, well, firstly a pixel art on the server, but also your name on uh, on one of the buildings here. So if you decide you want to make a pixel art um, and you want to send it to me um, either on the back to beta discord which is linked down below you can put it in art or uh, old mine uh, the old MC discussion or you can send it to me directly um, to my DMs um, you can friend me and whatever I'll, I'll friend you back and uh, yeah you can uh, you can send me that send it to me that way otherwise you can uh, I guess post it on reddit and share it to me that way um, anyway you can kind of get it to me that's uh, that's that's uh, that's fine with me. Um, but yeah, I thought I would uh, I would open that up to you guys, give uh, get, get some community involvement because I think that'd be really cool to have a whole bunch of uh, of uh, you know pixel art made by you guys put on the uh, put on the walls here. All right, but that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys really like these builds that I've been working on this week. Um, and hopefully more to come. Hopefully more to come, and I will give you updates, um, you know, during the week or next week as uh, as I keep building. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later's.